is that we are API based. So all of the functionality that you can see within KonaCart, KonaCart admin application, is all available through either Java APIs or web service APIs. And that was one of the main kind of design points when we first started developing KonaCart. And because we always thought that we'd want to integrate it into other types of applications. And that's where .CMS uh, actually came in, that we, a few years back, we actually, from the very start, actually, we thought that we'd want to develop with, with a CMS application. So if you look at the PHP world, that is where kind of most of the shopping carts are, you'll see that there are matches, you know, Joomla with VirtuMart, Drupal with Ubercart, now Magento's got its own kind of bit of CMS built in. But in the Java world, there doesn't seem to be uh, this type of marriage. So we were very keen to do it. We spoke to the .CMS guys, and they seemed very keen as well. So we decided to actually you know, implement an integration. I mean, there's nothing st there was nothing ever stopping anybody from doing it. But um, we thought it would be a lot easier if we can actually produce an application that then you know customers can go in and change and, um, and modify, especially on the UI side, to match their needs. Now, what I plan to do, I'll just go over the demo kind of briefly. I know that J Jason's on the line, so he probably knows more about the architecture than I do about this. But uh, I'll also speak a little bit about that, how we integrate it. And um, and then, you know, any questions, just fire them away in terms of... I can also go over who some of our customers are, but you can get those from our website as well. So what you see here is what I'm going to show is about... Uh, the, way that it was, the way that we actually developed it was that the .CMS developers actually developed the Windows. So, and what we did, we underpinned them with Kona Card functionality. So we were given, we let both sides do what they're good at doing. So the .CMS people obviously know their product very well. We know our product very well. And in order to actually do this in about just over kind of a month of elapsed time, uh, each, side, each of the sides concentrated on what, they, on what they're experts in. And so the idea behind the integration is, especially now that you see a lot of kind of gray uh, screens is that's where we would expect content to come from .CMS. So the idea about the, having e-commerce built in with CMS is that it should make it very easy for store owners to change content on their website without having to be you know technical people. Because we in our download kits we supply a Struts JSP based application, but obviously as you know. If people want to change the, some of the UI aspects, they have to go and edit JSPs and so on. And that isn't really what uh, marketing people want to do. So if you've got e-commerce integrated with CMS, it makes it very easy for people to put new promotions, new banners, uh, new information, even on a daily, hourly basis, to try and get uh, customers to come to the store. So... What we've done, we've got on a server which anybody can go to, it's konacart.cms.org. And on the same server, we've installed our normal kind of Konacart demo. And the .cms demo that, that I'm going to show actually uses the same database as our normal demo. And we've also got on there our admin app so that we can add promotions, add customers, and so on. So just to, I'll briefly kind of go through some of the features that we've integrated. This is a community edition of Kona Cart, and we also have an enterprise edition. We've, we've got two versions. And really, our differentiation is mainly on feature sets. Uh, both the versions of Kona Cart can be kind of load balanced and, and high, availabil uh, high availability, and also the database support and, um, and uh, application service support. But the functionality varies greatly. In the enterprise version, we've got a lot more features to do with marketing, gift registries, wish lists, a whole lot. Of, and we're really going more in that direction. So the idea, our idea, is that people who just want to get going with e-commerce, they'll use the, um, 
the community edition, but then as soon as they want some more features and they really want to get serious about e-commerce, then they will move on to the enterprise edition. That's the plan anyway. So what we did, we just kind of implemented a, a carousel on the front page. These are the categories of products that we've got in our, in our normal application and our demo application. If I click on one of the categories, you'll see for DVD movies, they come out, you can uh, change the category, you can filter the category by the different manufacturer or the brand in this case we've called it. Any product, you can do a kind of quick view of it and a little pop-up. Uh, you can do a more detailed view, again with the different images. Now, on the right-hand side, this is type of um, cross-marketing if you've got a product you can we can also we've got ways of saying other people have bought similar the people who bought this product have bought these products or cross-selling upselling and uh, we've put them on the right hand side again any of the UI aspects can be changed uh, as you want um, if I sign into the application uh, what I get I can, um, I'll see my recent orders, I can put in different addresses, I can update uh, all of my features. If I go back to the products, once I've logged in, I can write reviews for products. So for example, I, I pick this product and I say I want to write a review, I say this is great. Submit a review. Um, other features, if um, I want to add something to the cart, obviously pick a volume, I add it to the shopping cart. At this point, our community version has also got promotions in there. So for example, if uh, I've got this product in my cart and I put in my coupon code of sale and apply that, uh, then I get a 10% discount because in my admin app I've set up a promotion with a coupon of sale. We've got quite a, a flexible promotion subsystem where you can have promotions uh, connected to all sorts of things, to customer tags especially. You can have them connected to, uh, you know, if one of your customers, you can see what he's actually looking at, what his previous orders have been, uh, where he comes from, and you can give him all sorts of promotions based on his kind of behavioral patterns. Uh, once I've got something in the cart, and uh, I, I can check out. And now the checkout screen, we've tried to do kind of a very simple one-page checkout screen in this case. So if I've got different shipping methods, I can change the shipping. So instead of flat rate, I change shipping per item, and that will actually change uh, the shipping costs. I can put in, take my coupon code away, put in another one on the checkout screen. I can... Um, add or change my shipping addresses that, uh, so I can put in another one and that may change the, the shipping amount. And finally, I put in my credit card details, click the checkout button, and uh, at the moment it's correct, connected to Authorized Net, but uh, I'm not actually going to click checkout because I need a, a, credit, a test credit card, which I, I haven't quite got. So this is kind of a fairly... It's got in most of the basic features of Kona Card. It hasn't got in all of the features, and it certainly hasn't got the enterprise features in there. But the idea behind it is that it's quite simple to add uh, new features.